That's the statue that goes to mom. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today is Sunday. We just got done with church. Stopped at Starbucks to, and we're stopping at Starbucks to just grab some drinks and a quick bite. Uh, church was great today. Uh, the sermon was a lot about God's promises and I just really needed that today. So yeah, it was a great service. I didn't get to show you guys my outfit or anything, but I'm just wearing this top. It's really old. It's from Zara. And it has like this like collar on it and I'm wearing some pants from Zara as well. Maybe I'll show you guys when I get home. But yeah, we're going to go to Starbucks. Johnny already went in <laughs> and I am going to go in now. I was like, let me do the little intro and then I'll meet you guys in there. <laughs> So we stopped at the grocery store to just grab some stuff for the week. We got a bunch of stuff to try, maybe some green juices and just some snacks for camp. Quick grocery haul. First of all, I got this kombucha. This this is the guava dragon fruit kombucha. I haven't tried this. At least I don't think I have. It doesn't sound familiar. So I'm going to try this later. Then we got just some snacks. This is for salad, cranberry and walnut pieces, some seaweed for clay bread so a whole we got a whole chicken for lunch and dinner um bread some lime i mean lemons and cucumbers for green juicing i got a taco seasoning packet because i have some taco meat in the fridge i need to cook that uh, well in the freezer i got some popcorn callie wants to watch a movie so she's gonna make popcorn first and uh these bars are really good so Callie got those. She got some Lunchables. These Lunchables look crazy. What the heck? Uploaded? It has all the stuff in there? That is a lot. Whoa. Okay. And then over here we have some salad. So we tried this one last week and we really liked it. It's chopped chipotle and cheddar. It's really good. So Johnny and I are going to have this. And then I got this one as well. So I just got three salad bags. Salary for juicing strawberries some grapes just seedless red grape and some green apples i think that's pretty much all that we got hey google turn off the music hey y'all it's a lot later i am back home and i'm currently exporting a vlog for youtube it's 6 36 right now so i've been home for a minute i we got home right after church to the grocery store i actually showed you guys my haul so you guys know i'm home what am i thinking anyway so after i showed y'all this haul i went and sat down callie and johnny were watching a movie they were watching yesterday and i was watching too but i was trying to edit and watch the movie i was just so exhausted though like i literally fell asleep while editing i completely just knocked out took a whole nap woke up about 4 30 and i started editing again so i finished editing exporting the video hopefully it should be up tonight it's 6 30 right now so i the latest i like to upload is 7 30 so i think i'm i should be good today because yeah i think i should be good um uh, the thumbnail as well i do need to find the links for everything because i know you guys like when i put the links and so we need to eat dinner we made uh we had the rotisserie chicken and then 
we just made a side salad and we had sweet potatoes so that i'm gonna have that for dinner while this is exporting i also did a community post on youtube for like a sponsorship which is i never did that before but it was with bloomingdale's so you probably already saw it but if you haven't go check it out and also yesterday i ordered some new like nail polish like nail things because i i feel like i'm having a little um dory moment because i'm going from topic to topic but yeah i ordered some new nail things because i really wanted to try all my nails again so i ordered the clay no so i ordered the gel x nails upper gel so i got almond the almond shape so i'm excited those are gonna come in this week i'm assuming and i'm gonna do my nails sometime this week my nails don't look terrible it's just it's i'm still learning so yeah i'm gonna get those products in and i got a barbie color it's called like barbie something and i also got a traditional like red opi color i think i got big apple red which i have it but i don't have the gel version so i ordered that because i think it's like a staple like a red shade um hoping it would have came in before july 4th but it's okay it's fine anyway i was going to figure out what you know we could do for july 4th um where we could watch fireworks so yeah i have to do all that today kind of store out the week i like to kind of plan the week out on mondays on sundays so i know exactly what we're doing for the entire week today is monday it's july 3rd johnny and i are, are getting some work done we just left starbucks um we're doing some editing and he was doing some work on his laptop and we just had an appointment so we're going to that now johnny's actually going first so he's doing his appointment i also got a green juice earlier at bari bari is like a juice bar they also have like acai bowls and stuff like that in nyack so i got that um i got the complexion it's really good i've had it before it has like grapefruit kale i think i don't know some greens <laughs> and some other things i think the grapefruit is like the biggest thing for complexion because of vitamin c um because every other ingredient is pretty like typical i guess in a green juice so yeah the thing with grapefruit is why they call it a complexion juice and it's pretty good it tastes like citrusy green juice so having that i also had a little parfait from starbucks but i didn't really finish the whole thing i just had like a few bites of it and um i don't know i thought it didn't really it wasn't hidden the way I thought it would, but I never tried their parfaits, so I just wanted to try it because it was one of the few things I could actually have there. Because last, yesterday, we actually did go to Starbucks and I got a um, dragon fruit refresher. I need to double check, but somebody had commented that the pink drink has caffeine and I didn't know that. Like, I honestly did not even think to look to see if it had caffeine because it literally, like, it looks like it's a pink drink you know so now i need to literally check every single drink that i order at starbucks because i just i don't know um yeah and i've been ordering the uh strawberry acai for cali and now i need to double check that as well because i don't know if that has caffeine in it so i'm gonna look through everything um that i order i did notice it wasn't a ton of caffeine it wasn't like coffee level of caffeine but it definitely had some because they use a tea to make it 
and that's particular that particular tea does have caffeine so i'm gonna look through that make sure that nothing else i'm consuming has caffeine i should be good otherwise but that night i literally had a hard time falling asleep and it didn't i didn't realize what 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 it was you know and it wasn't even that much caffeine but i guess since i'm not drinking any that little bit did i might i did notice a difference in my sleep pattern or sleep my nighttime routine or whatever so anyways uh the green juice is gonna have to be my go-to and my smoothies so i don't get messed up you know gotta stay away from them teas unless i know the tea chamomile i know does not have caffeine obviously and like lavender tea like things for nighttime where you wouldn't want caffeine i know those teas don't really tend to have caffeine so i will stick to those and then obviously staying away from things that i'm not sure about unless i google it anyways once we're done i need to see like where we could go for lunch i don't know if we should we could, probably could just make lunch at home but since we're down here i'm gonna look around to see if there's any restaurants that i want to go to there's a few different restaurants that i've had my eye on but this was before that i was on my new way of life <laughs> so i need to double check to see like what um, healthier options we have so that we can go for lunch and then um, I still haven't found a place for fireworks I really wanted to take the kids to see fireworks so I'm gonna look to see if I find somewhere last year we had gone to a park and it was like taking so long for the fireworks to start we ended up leaving and then going somewhere else um, so yeah I'm gonna I want to find somewhere that you know we could stay for a while and have a good time and not have it be too too crowded but still have good fireworks which i feel like is an oxymoron because usually the places that have the best fireworks are crowded it's last minute it's not gonna be easy to find but i'm gonna try to figure it out and also this week i kind of want to try pilates i've been wanting to for a long time i've tried pilates like at home but i want to actually go to a class so that's on my list for this week i don't know if it's gonna happen but I'm putting it out there so I actually sign up for a class and go to like a beginner class. Um, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm shy, but I wanna do it, I wanna try it at least one time and I wanna start this week. Let me go in the office and make sure Johnny's okay and I will talk to y'all a little later. I'm in the car, I'm back in the car actually and I was looking through the end sale, the Nordstrom anniversary sale starts in July and they just put up the preview today so I'm looking through all the goodies that are on sale and i found so much good stuff i found a ton of things that i actually like and things that i've wanted to try so i'm trying to decide what i'm getting um yeah definitely found quite a bit of products i wanted to share with you guys a few of them like this set is really nice i don't know what these colors are but these two look really good so yeah i actually already ordered a pair of shoes like i don't know how because today's just preview day but i ordered the um the on sneakers um i'll show you guys but these are some of the things i was just looking at so like this actually i'll just go through my tabs real quick so this donna karen deodorant it's a set for um 72 dollars for three which is a good each one is $32, so it's like comes in a pack of three for $72, which is a pretty good price. And then this hand lotion I love. It comes in this nice set. Um, and then we have this Charlotte Silberry Duo, $52 for two of these is a good steal. Um, Beyond Yoga, love their leggings. I recently tried them last month and I love the material, so they have it on for $68. Um, this Birkenstock slipper, I actually really like this color. I'm just not sure about the material because it has like this shinier material, so I'm not sure about it, but I have my eye on this one. I may get it. And then this Jo Malone set I thought was really good. It's set $175 for um, both, which if you don't know, like the one bottle is like $155 and then this one is like $80, so that's a pretty good deal for this combo and this scent is one of the popular ones that um i like so i'm excited i may get this i think it's a good deal 
and then these sunglasses so i like trying to find at least one pair of sunglasses during the sale because typically you get like a good deal so this one is fendi and it looks really nice my last the last sale i did get a pair of fendi sunglasses um and i really like them so then we have these from loewe um these you have to add to bag to see the price but yeah yeah that is my cart so i can see the price good uh discount then these fendi ones i don't know let's see how much these are gonna be 2.99 from 500 these are really nice these are very similar to the ones i have a little different though um then we have this cult gaia this bag was in the sale last year it's 246 so it's a nice little 24 percent off i don't think you know that's too much of a percent off but yeah it's something <laughs> and these celine these are really popular i have the square version of these and i really like them and these are 2.99 so certain sunglasses like they work certain brands or styles work better for my nose structure and these are one of the ones that work for my nose structure i think there's just a lot of room here compared to some sunglasses that are more closed in so i do like these um Osea, oh my gosh like this set is $58 this alone is like $58 so this trio is definitely a good deal did I just did I just say trio 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 I don't know Ugg slippers also I saw these look really good I really wish the pink was different if the pink was like a different pink immediately I would have purchased it so um but I still think it's really nice I think the style is really cute I like the Sherpa or Sherlin I guess it's called um yeah and then these i added these to my cart but these are i'm trying to decide, I'm th i think i may get these these are from sorrel and they are basically it says waterproof boot i'm just i was looking for a rain shoe so i don't know if these are technically a rain boot it looks like they may just be a waterproof um booty so i'm gonna double check because this may not be what I was exactly looking for. It says protects against rain puddles and slush to keep feet dry. Keeps feet dry in wet conditions. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. But I definitely like the style and I love the brown and like caramel brown and black combo. It looks really good. And then these sunglasses. Ooh, y'all. I have my eye on these. These are in my cart. I don't know if I'm gonna get them. I'm thinking about them. These definitely thinking about these. They're in my cart right now. So I may get them. I think they look really good. I may get these. Like how cute are these? How cute are these? Okay, and then this is the last thing that was in my cart. These Tom Ford ones, and they are very similar. Um, I do feel like they are very similar to my current Fendi ones, so I don't think I'll get them. But um, these are forty-three percent off. I think forty and up is a good percent. Thirty-three, depending on what the product is, but anything below that, I feel like that's not the best sale. So yeah, those are my picks so far um let's see if i can show you guys johnny's appointment is taking way longer this appointment is taking way longer than i thought it would so i was sitting in there but then the meter ran out and i thought he would have been on in like two seconds i said let me just go to the car instead of adding more money We're actually trying to find a new spot because we couldn't reload the meter we would have to go get a new spot and so i thought he was going to come out in like two seconds but he's still not he's still not out yet so um I'm just sitting here until he's done and then maybe it will let me reload when I need to go in. So yeah, I've been looking at the Nordstrom sale and I honestly don't know how it let me check out with the shoes. Maybe it's going to like refund me later today and it's going to be like psych. So I don't know how it let me check out with those shoes earlier, but it did. I'm just, I'm expecting to get an email that says we made a mistake <laughs> because that was not supposed to happen but um i did order the on cloud shoes it's actually the pair that my mom has and i really like them and i've wanted them but they were on sale for 112 so i said that is definitely a steal so i'm gonna link everything that i showed y'all and anything that i think it's like worth it i don't know i think i'll link some stuff in this video so i'm gonna have it in the little shop section so you can see and then you can come back to this video and see whatever i 
definitely think it's a good deal. They also have the Nike Metcom, which you guys have told me to get um, for working out. So I'm thinking about getting those as well. They have it for $99 and they're usually $120. So it's like, you know, $20 off. But yeah. Still waiting for time. Let me put my little screen protector back on. This thing comes in handy. Like, this is a black screen for my laptop. I took it off to show you guys the screen. But whenever I'm out doing work, I definitely like having this on. Because not only does it help with blue light, but it also helps. It blocks your screen. So people can't see what I'm doing on here. One thing if you walk by somebody and you glance at their screen. But sometimes people will literally be staring at my screen like what are you doing like why are you looking at me looking at me editing me why are you looking at me editing myself that is so embarrassing <laughs> um so so i like having my little screen protector so that they can't see my business you know it is getting hot in here let me close this sunroof oh my gosh it is getting so hot it is like must be not i feel like it's 90 degrees outside today and honestly also, it's 2 o'clock. We need to go get the kids. Oh, it's 85. It feels hot. It feels like hotter than 85. So. How embarrassing. Let me look at my phone and pretend like I'm not talking to a camera. So, garbage man is literally right here taking up the garbage. <laughs> Okay, so we got 30 more minutes. I'm about to go back to the office because it's hot and the AC is on, but it's not doing me any justice. So I'm going to go back in there to get to get some AC so I could use the AC. Um, yeah, I'm about to go back in the office so I can use the AC and not be freaking hot. And I'm going to talk to y'all later. Off to Chili's for lunch. Chili's! Well, dinner. We got burgers. You know, we were here at, um, so we're at Chili's. Chili's. I'm gonna get the. Oh, do you wanna play this? Johnny! Good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm getting ready right now. I think it's like 8.30 right now. Maybe 9. I don't know. But I'm going to throw on this lip gloss. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm going to throw on this lip gloss that I've been really... And I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to use the um, little flat iron that I got last week i still haven't tried it so i'm gonna try it out today i just pulled pull a little bit of hair out of my bun so yeah it's pretty early in the morning i like that this comes with a pouch i wish all flat irons came with a pouch like this so you can store them and you know yeah this is cool we're gonna go uh take a quick trip to the city i wanted to go to bh photo to pick up lens so that's what we're up to and we're probably probably gonna go to the supermarket after to just grab a couple things to um grill today it's july 4th and we're just gonna do something we're just gonna do something small nothing too crazy this is just automatically on one setting let's try Did that do anything? I don't even know if it worked. Okay, so it's working. So it does work. I feel like I just didn't pull enough hair out of my bun to really see a big difference. I don't necessarily want to pull more hair out the gummy edge control I'm really hoping that there's no traffic going into the city right now it is July 4th so I know later there's gonna be a ton of traffic but hopefully like right now it's not too crazy I don't think it will be because typically like 
Manhattan. Like, I don't know. People don't really be out in Manhattan. Typically, people are not really out and about in Manhattan until like mm, 10, 11, you know, like those hours. Lunchtime, that's when like you really start seeing people. I feel like everyone goes on their lunch break, plus the crowds of people that are arriving and waking up and going to the city or leaving their house if they live in the city. So yeah, I feel like around 12 is when you really start seeing a lot of people outside, but hopefully today it's not, you know, I've never been in Manhattan on July 4th. All right, so hair is done. Hey y'all, so we're in the car heading out to BH Photo. I need to double check to see if they're open. It said they are online, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna go and then we're probably gonna get a green juice since we're gonna be in the city. It's a lot easier to get like green juice shops and stuff down there. So I think I'll go to Jewish Generation. Um, maybe, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then we're gonna grab some stuff to grill and probably a Wegmans, but this is Johnny. Johnny just went into Starbucks to grab his drink. Alright, y'all. Mm. Alright, so Johnny got his drink at Starbucks. He's got the medicine ball. When lights go out. Just picked up the lens and now we're gonna find a juice shop. Let's see what's around here. Juice shop. Oh, maybe we can go to join the juice. You want to join the juice? For oh, sure. Okay. Let's see the best one to go to. Probably 70. side is probably good okay so we're gonna go to join the juice starting route to joe and the juice on head nine. southwest on 9th avenue then turn right onto west 33rd street we're gonna go to the one on up a west side 96 on 94th street i think it was so yeah we're just gonna go north so we could probably actually i'll just follow the juice so we can probably it's saying to go down and then we'll have to go back up some, at some point. Okay. Alright. You good? Yep. So guys, hello package. I'll show you guys uh, once I get home, but I'm going to test it out right now. Alright, this is the thing. So this is going to be for a specific type of content. Um, this is not for regular vlogging, but it's going to be for like specific content um it says go straight i believe i'm sorry but what do you see this what there's a school yeah. over here is that a school right there probably i think this is the area i did um a couple of... a little further north probably the park is a little further north than here the park central park no 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 i was talking about with the school Lens looks so good. I mean, Johnny looks good anyway, but. For who? Mm. <laughs> I thought you were ignoring me. No. Okay. Yeah. But it's crazy.
Okay, this is what it would look like if I tried to vlog with this lens, so it's impossible to vlog with. But I'm going to use it for other videos like self-care, stuff like that. Maybe like a sit-down video I can use it for where it's further away from me. But I love the quality. Really, really good quality. Yeah, this is as far as I could reach with my arm. <laughs> it's still not showing. It's just my, it's not, you know, vlog appropriate. I feel like it's Sheen is like there's a restriction. Right. It wouldn't let me pay, so. I'll do one this way. Why not? Oh. Alright, yeah, this yeah, is it. got Jonah Juice. I just got switched back to my other lens because the other lens was so cropped in, but I got the Tunicado. Tunicado. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have this. This is, this is going to be my lunch. I love this sandwich. It's really good. Do you want to share it? you want to have? No? No. You got to eat your growing girl. I <laughs> wanted to share. <laughs> You're a growing girl. I mean, if you don't yeah. want it, I'll eat it. Yeah, I'll give you half. And then got this. Uh, this is called. I think it was. I forget what it was called. It had pineapple, cucumber, and maybe kale or spinach or something like that. It was only three ingredients and it was like 80 something calories. So I got it. It's very light. Cucumber, pineapple, I'm not sure what else is in here, but it's not a leafy green, it's some other, oh kiwi actually, I see the uh, little seeds, it's kiwi. So that's what I got, and it's very refreshing, so I'm going to have this and that for lunch and we're gonna go to you wanna go to Wegmans I guess? On the way sure. Yeah. To get some stuff to grill. Delish. A couple of paper towels. She's lying. Oh. <laughs> you good, Kelly? She's been eating lunchables. What's your phone? She's been eating lunchables. It's out here, and we're in here. If it stops raining, then we can definitely like go sit out here. But we'll see. Like if it gets drier outside. But for now, we're probably going to set up in here. So I'm going to show you guys. All right, I'm going to do a quick haul. I forgot that we, we picked up some things from the supermarket. We ended up going to DeSico's. Um, so I'll just show you guys what we got. And I am almost done with this green juice. We got a couple trays to just put the burgers and um, the chicken that we're going to cook. And we got some whipped cream because we're going to be making... A little dessert so I got whipped cream for that this is the chicken I just I got some chicken breast so we're gonna grill that Johnny has the burger meat already on the grill so we're starting with that and then we also we just got some got some cheese for the burger meat and then Okay, so for sides, we picked up some coleslaw. So this is the DeSico's own coleslaw. And this one looks really good. Like sometimes the coleslaw like does not look good <laughs> when you buy it pre-made, but this one looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna have this with the chicken. And then we got some buns. We got some brioche buns. These look pretty good. We also have some um, buns already so this is just an addition so yeah. like these. I'm not gonna be eating my burger with a bun I'm just gonna eat it with the coleslaw just to 
just to keep my calories a little lower. Okay, so this is for the dessert. So we're gonna do the um, little shells with the whipped cream. We're gonna add strawberries and blueberries. I have a little red, white, and blue moment. <laughs> This is us being festive, okay? This is as festive as it's getting. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> okay. Then, got some macaroni salad. This one also looks really good. This is the Zico's macaroni salad. Um, this is their macaroni salad, Zico's market. And this one looked pretty good as well. We also just got a couple packages of corn to grill. So this is gonna be our menu today. Just some corn macaroni salad, coleslaw, the chicken, and the burgers. So that's everything. We're setting up the room. Callie is gonna do the table, and Johnny's on the grill. So we're gonna put the table, this table back here to grill on it. I, I'm pretty sure I have a, um, a backdrop or like a piece of cloth that's like red, white, and blue from back when I used to do a lot of backdrops in my videos. I'm gonna go look for it right now. I found this one. We're going to do this one. So yeah, we're going to do this cloth. I found this blue one. And I'm going to see if I find a plastic covering for it. I'm on here. Hello. Hello. Okay. We'll just put some of the stuff out here as well so that way we can have everything set up. So we just have like the stuff here and then this is gonna oh these are the burgers Johnny made. I'm gonna bring out the bread and then um, the sides for the burger. So... Right. <laughs> it was fact, the first British flew right over these marshes. Trying to get his ride on. I'm gonna go next. He's doing Hannah Frankston in East London, Johnny. Yeah. We are almost there. You ready to pull it back into our recovery? Cadence 80 to 100. Resistance 20 to 40. In three, two, one. So Johnny's done with his ride. I'm gonna do a quick ride on the Peloton and my shoes. I'm looking so shiny. <laughs> um, I switched into this little outfit as well just to work out in. And then I think I'm going to just chill for the rest of the night once I do this. Probably read a bit and um, get into my nighttime routine. Today's Tuesday but it really feels like a Sunday because I guess since we had like the day off 
I'm going to remind myself that tomorrow is Wednesday because I feel like tomorrow is Monday, if that makes sense. Like, I'm doing this low impact ride with Tunde. It's a 30 minute ride and the music she has is pretty good. So that's why I picked it. She has um, a really good playlist. Aaliyah, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Blue Ivy. No, um, yeah, I like this playlist. The only song on here that I don't really know is Calm Down. Maybe I do know it, I just don't know that I know it. And then I don't know if I know that song. But everything else I really like. So I'm excited. I like a good playlist because it keeps me going during my workout. Especially like if I'm already tired. Like right now I feel tired. But I think this playlist is going to keep me going. So let's do it. Welcome to your 30 minutes low impact Into maybe the week. Or Good night. I am getting ready for bed to my nighttime routine. I figured I would do a little chit chat while I do that. I'm using my Indy Lee uh, makeup remover. It's almost out. I really like this one. But yeah, I'm down to like the last bit of it. And it actually came with this little silver thing that helps get the, the rest of the product out, which I thought was really helpful. I've always seen these, but I've never actually owned one. And now I feel like I need one for all my products that are in a tube like this. So yeah, I'm definitely going to save this once this tube is done and use it for other products. Like hand lotions, I have like lotions and like this type of a tube that I could definitely use these with. So keeping that. Um... We're clearly home. We didn't go see any fireworks today because the weather was just so iffy. It was like raining off and on all day long. Like even when we were out in the back room, like on the grill, it would be raining like really hard and then it would stop and like off and on all day. So we just decided to stay home instead of, you know, going out to a park or anything like that and we had a great time so we had a really nice family day my mom worked today so she wasn't able to be there but my dad my brother like and um the kids and i and johnny <laughs> had a little family barbecue it was really cute it was really cute and then we ended up doing peloton rides i rode with tune day today and I did like a low impact ride, which was nice. I just wanted to get a little bit of movement in. I wanted to do that every day in one way or another. So today I did Peloton, which it was definitely a struggle. Like even the low impact ride sometimes like could be hard. And I always forget, like I think, oh, it's easy. It's not like I get on there and I'm like, whew, keep going. Just keep going. Like it's hard to finish the ride sometimes like i gotta take a break you know especially if i don't go for a while mm. not only is it hard physically but my butt starts hurting because you don't get like i got used to the seat when i was doing it every day but whenever i take a break i my body's no longer used to the seat of the bike so i have to like readjust i'm gonna use a little washcloth to wipe my face also i I finally ordered those um, those makeup cloth things from Amazon. I've been meaning to forever. I just, I don't know why I didn't order them yet. But I'm going to try them. I think it's called the Skincare Club. A few of you guys seem to try them a while back. And I don't know. I just never did. Because I have all these washcloths that I use. <laughs> um, and these are gentle. They're not like hard or... Like rough I buy them specifically for my face they're like baby wipes or baby washcloths this one is not a baby one but this one is a skincare one it came with some skincare products from pixie I believe or yeah I think it was pixie so it's specifically like for my face but I just want to try the other paper towel things because I think they're more hygienic so I'm gonna try them they should be in a couple days maybe in the next vlog i'll have them 
and tell you my thoughts on them. I feel like I'm gonna like them because I usually do like using paper towel. So, anyways, I'm gonna use my Youth to the People cleanser. I'm almost out of this as well. I'm almost out of everything. I wonder if the Nordstrom sale has this because that would be a great place to buy it. <laughs> By the way, last couple days ago, I was telling you guys that was that yesterday. It feels like so long ago, but that was literally yesterday. Why does yesterday feel like two, three, four days ago? I ordered those shoes from the Nordstrom sale and um, they say my order is ready for pickup. So I literally, I don't know, there was a glitch. Like I swear, I don't know if it was just me or if it was anybody else, but there was a glitch on the Nordstrom website the day the preview started and it was allowing me to add things to my cart. And that's not supposed to happen. It's like a preview day. You're not supposed to be able to check out or even add things to your cart. Because now I can't do that. And I was like adding things to my cart. And I, it didn't even cross my mind that that was not, that something was off. What I did think was weird was when it was letting me check out. So I'm like, why is it letting me check out? So I kept going through the process. And at first I was going to check out with the Prada sunglasses. But I said, I'm not going to do that because next thing you know, they hold my money for like weeks and weeks and then i'll be mad so I was like i'm gonna do the shoes because it's a little cheaper you know <laughs> if anything it's okay so i did the shoes the whole process went through and i'm like okay still i didn't believe it i said they're gonna send me a refund and whatever they did it my order is ready for pickup so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get it tomorrow hopefully um i'm excited because Like I said, I've been wanting those shoes for a while, so I'm excited to have them. And they're a really nice casual sneaker. I love my Hoka's, um, but I feel like they're not the cutest. <laughs> they're definitely not the cutest. So I like working out, working out in them and walking on the treadmill, wearing them for like walks outside. But as far as like looking cute and running errands in them, no. So I got those more so when I want to run errands. Um, and I want to throw on like a sneaker I could wear those or if I'm like going for a walk and then I need to run errands after I could wear those instead of the hokas I just feel like the hokas just you know they're super comfortable and it could just be my the one that I have but I feel like I have the least ugly one because I just have the all black ones I feel like the other ones are just I don't know Typically, I don't like an all black shoe, but with those, I feel like the all black are the most forgiven because the other ones just look crazy on my feet. It could be because I wear a size eight, um, so maybe that's what it is. Am I a size eight or eight and a half? I'm a size eight and a half. Yeah, it could be because I'm a size eight and a half. <laughs> I always forget my shoe size. I'm an eight and a half and a nine. That's what it is. So I'm like, am I eight and eight and a half or eight and a half or nine? My shoes has also changed in my adult life. So that's why I forget. Um, yeah. So anyways, we're going to do my Tretinoin tonight because I haven't done it in a few nights and I need to get it in my system. So we're going to put some on. So yeah, we're going to do this. I have a few breakouts like right here. I have one and then like. On my chin i have a few i don't know what's going on but i actually i know what's going on i'm not gonna tell y'all because it's embarrassing but i didn't do my full routine a couple nights ago and i think that's literally what happened like i did my i took my makeup off but then i was like really 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 lazy and i didn't wash my face and i didn't not only did i didn't wash like i washed my face with the makeup remover and i just stopped right there and fell asleep yeah so i do this thing sometimes where i'll go to the bathroom i'll take my makeup off and then i'll take a shower and then after my shower i'll go like put my body lotion on and then i'll go to my bed hang out do some stuff and then i'll come back to the bathroom and do like my face routine with my cleanser and everything else and so that's what I usually do. Um, that's what I do sometimes, I should say. Not usually. Sometimes I do that that way. And that particular day, I literally never came back to the bathroom. So I never 
wash my face fully you know it was like half washed so yeah I think that's literally all it took to break me out <laughs> because whatever was on my face from the day like the makeup just yeah so anyways I'm gonna do my tretinoin this is the 0.5 point zero five actually and oh i just remember i had to answer a dm on instagram about this because somebody asked me where i get it from this you can get from your dermatologist in case you're wondering and you're watching this video <laughs> um you can get it from your dermatologist you could also get it online there's like an online dermatologist situation i'm not a do i hear those fireworks one thing about people up here they love them some fireworks i don't really love fireworks in the city too but I feel like up here, people love fireworks. Anyways, um, what's I saying? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> also, yeah, so I think I've seen online, there's like a, some type of prescription or pharmacy situation where you can get it. Somehow, I, I forget the name of the company. I'm going to try looking it up. Because I've seen it, um, and obviously I don't need to get it from this place because I get it from my dermatologist. So I never bothered, like, really investigating much. But I've seen, oh, it's called Nurex, N-U-R-X. And it says get tretinoin online. I don't know much about the site, so I'm not saying, like, you know, yeah do what you will with that information but this is what i came across i've came across this site a few years ago i want to say maybe maybe last year i don't know but it seems like they have tretinoin available and um not just tretinoin but other products it says get tretinoin prescribed with medical providers online so there are medical providers online and um delivered for zero dollars to you with nurex you will be you'll will even take well even take care of the billing your insurance oh so they do like insurance like they do everything so it seems like this is with insurance so i don't know exactly how it's, oh price without insurance as low as 30 dollars a month so i don't know this is something to investigate if in case you're interested and they may be other similar websites usually like when there's one thing like that there's other things like it so it is available online somehow so yeah so since i've never tried it i can't say for certain like i you know i know about it but i know that it exists you know so yeah i got this um for my eyes today i'm gonna use this vitamin c serum i'm gonna just put on my finger first what am i doing right now Okay, tomorrow is such a busy day it's a long day for us because we have a lot going on um and by a lot it's literally just adult things <laughs> uh we have to like get money orders mail them out we ha I have an appointment at the meds ball uh johnny has a car appointment later in the day we have um to get work done in between all that we also need to like um get the kids and drop them and pick them up from camp um and then there's something else we need to do just a bunch of errands i also need to go to the pharmacy and pick up my vitamin d yeah a bunch of errands tomorrow so i don't even know like i need to figure out what i'm wearing and everything before the day starts that way i can be ready as ready as possible we wanted to actually also start going to the gym before taking the kids to camp. I don't know if tomorrow's gonna be one of those days where we start that because oh, because it's already 11 o'clock and I really wanted to get a good amount of sleep tonight. I wanna prioritize my sleep for sure. The past couple nights I've been going to bed way too late, like 12 o'clock and I like to go to bed earlier than that. That's hence why I didn't do my skincare routine. It was so late. I was like, I'm such a grandma now when it comes to sleep. I feel like for so long, my kids were young. And when, well, my kids are so young. But when your kids are like really young, like you literally cannot go to sleep until they, you know, are completely like sleeping. 
um, and they need you like throughout the whole process. As like now, my kids like as long as they're in bed and they're comfy and they're reading their books, usually they read themselves to sleep. As long as this is go that happens, I'm good to go. Like I, I don't need to like wait around. But when they're in that stage where you need to like literally wait around, it's like I feel like it's the hardest time because. I could never get good sleep like I I feel like I hadn't sleep for years until my kids got older so I need to definitely catch up on all my beauty sleep <laughs> if you know you know and some of y'all got good like well not even well trained because it's not even training it's just like every child is different some of y'all got children that be sleeping all night god bless you Cause the struggle is real for some of us <laughs> we're doing this moisturizer from youth to the people tonight i'm doing this one because it's not as heavy as the other moisturizers i use for nighttime i wanted something a little lighter just because i'm breaking out and i want to just i want to moisturize but not with something too heavy you know like i want the treatment to do its job and Get these breakouts under control. I need to wash my hair. I also need to put some oil in it before I wash it. I want to try the pre-wash oil from Fable and Maine. I am still using my original oil that I had first got from them. I'm almost out of it. This is the one here. This is the, this is the, this is what made me fall in love with this brand. So I do want to put the pre poo and I think I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow because I don't think I want to wash it. So I don't want, I don't mind washing my hair at nighttime, but I don't really want to sleep with wet hair tonight or like damp hair or whatever the case. So I'm going to do it tomorrow, I think. And I want to, yeah, I'm just going to do it tomorrow. We're going to do the Summer Fridays lip balm. This is the only thing on my counter, so that's what I'm using. <laughs> They're going to be doing this all night long all night long last thing i'm gonna do before i head into my room is clean my earring i'm gonna use this this is what i've been using on it it's healing pretty nicely it's the one in the middle of my ear because she didn't see that vlog so what i usually do is i take a little i take a, a q-tip and i spray it i just sprayed it with the um saline and i just clean around it when I got it done, the girl said I didn't need to do this, but I just, I'm so used to doing this with my earrings that I just decided to do it anyway and get whatever gunk is on it off. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't hurt to do it. I don't know. It's been about a month since I got it done. I think the healing time for these are like three to six months though. Okay, and then I take the spray, um, and then I also spray the back of my hair. So yeah, okay, so. I'm using this Laura Mercier body butter tonight. This stuff is amazing. All right, so I'm also gonna do some reading. I'm reading the 101 essays that will change the way you think. I'm currently on the second. I read the intro and the first chapter yesterday and I'm starting the second chapter. It's pretty good so far. I'm actually really enjoying this chapter. It started out with kind of, um, this just like the importance of a daily routine which I thought was really nice so that's what I'm gonna do right now I do have all these electronics on my bed that I need to get rid of before I sit down and read but 
yeah i was editing a couple of videos and just doing some work on my ipad over here so i'm gonna put these away and get to reading i'm also gonna turn on the hatch machine for some white noise and i will talk to you guys in my next vlog thanks for watching good night